Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, talking about the San Francisco 49ers. In this one, final prediction for the 49ers this season. What record do I believe they will go? I'm pretty sure you guys know. I pretty much alluded to this in the offseason from the beginning of it all the way until now. But I still want to reiterate it and see where they go in 17 games. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Nothing too crazy for me. The last weekend of no NFL football. There is college football, but I don't really bother with that too much because I just don't care about college football that much unless it's the part where I look at NFL prospects near the end of the season for them. But for me, I don't really care who wins and loses. That out of the way, let's get this video started. As always, please like and subscribe. That's going to definitely help you out a lot. Do all that cool stuff. Share this channel. Share this content. Podcast, if you guys want to check it out, link will be in the description below. Remember, the goal is going to be 5,000 subscribers. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please, it's free. doesn't hurt you at all, right? Anyways, let's get this started. 49ers, final prediction for 2021. As we all know, the team, I think, is really stacked on paper. What happens on the field, I have no idea until they play week one against the Lions next Sunday. But I am really, really liking what they have right now in offense and defense. Jimmy Garoppolo, Trey Lance, but probably Jimmy Garoppolo for right now, unless he gets hurt or something like that. I hope he doesn't. I hope he can really stay healthy and be, had that season like he did in 2019 and even better. That's what we're hoping for. The running backs led by Raheem Mostert. I think that's ready to go. The offensive line, that's going to be the biggest X factor, I believe, in 2021. Last year was a big disaster, in my opinion. This year, they if they can really do a good job like they did in 2019, then yes, it'll be very successful. If the running game is effective, Jimmy Garoppolo the receivers, everything can click. That's just how it is on offense. But the offensive line, as I said, it makes everything go. It'll make the running game effective. It'll make the receiving game effective as well and get protection to the quarterback. Defensively, get to the quarterback. That's all we could do. Nick Bosa, D Ford, I'm hoping to get to them all day. Eric Armstead, Javon Kinlaw, all those guys on defense. Linebacking core, you have Fred Warner. I'm hearing that he can rush the quarterback a little bit more, which I, I can really see him do, but one of the best coverage linebackers you can find. One of the fastest, I would say, too. Dre Greenlaw, all those other guys, they're amazing. Defensive backs, Jason Verrett. I'm feeling really good about this team. I know if I said that for a long, long time now, but that's just really how confident I am this year in particular. 2020, I was confident, but you know what the injuries did happen and the roster wasn't as strong as it was in twenty nine in twenty nineteen and now. Probably not, but I think twenty twenty one with everybody coming back healthy, a full off season, being able to practice, actually being able to play some preseason games, that's the biggest difference maker. That's gonna be boding very well for them to have a little bit of playing time, not just with the team, but against other teams as well. And also having joint practice with the Chargers. So if I'm looking at everything, if I'm picking final predictions for the 49ers, I'm going to have to say around 12-5, and 13-4. and 4. I know that sounds really bizarre to say with the numbers because it's 17 games, but 12-13 to 13 wins, I think that's really reasonable right there. I'd say their big ceiling is about 14 wins, and their floor is about 9-10 to 10 wins. I'm hoping at least 10. I think if anything's under 10, that'd be very disappointing. Even 10 wins would be disappointing too, but if it's 9 and below... That would be a disappointing season. But as long as they win the West as, if they can and make it to the number one seed, get that home field playoff advantage, that's going to help out a lot. This team, I believe in it. I believe in Kyle Shanahan. I believe in D'Amico Ryans, Mike McDaniel, John Lynch, what, how he's built this roster from the ground up. Jed York being able to stay away from football operations. This should be a magical season, I should say. If it's not, then, well, I should end YouTube career and not do 49 other stuff anymore because I don't want them to disappoint me, right? Anyways, that's pretty much it, you guys. 12-13 to 13 wins. My final prediction, 14 is going to be the absolute ceiling, and 9-10 to 10 wins is going to be the floor for the 49ers that I have this year. If I'm right, that's cool. If not then I suck, right? We can get back to this video months from now and see if this prediction is going to be right. That's it, guys. Please let me know what you guys think about the 49ers and final predictions. I'd like to hear what you guys say in the comments below. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. That's going to help me out a lot. I'll be catching you guys up hopefully tomorrow on a Sunday when I hype it up and just get excited for 49ers in 2021. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Go Niners all day.